Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I am so glad you're here because today we're taking a look at another excellent knife from Civivi. Uh, I'm doing kind of overviews on two different models that are fairly new. Not sure which one I'll post first, but this is the Shredder from Civivi. And as I mentioned before, Civivi is just killing it. I think they're at the top of the game, top of the food chain in this 40 to 60 dollar range as far as budget knives are concerned and everything that they've put out that I've personally purchased and used um, has has been excellent. So I really really do like Civivi knives. They come in a standard white cardboard box and you always get a little carrying case with some stickers and a microfiber cloth. So they kind of hook you up with a few extras which is nice and as I mentioned this knife is called the Shredder. Uh, fun fact the owner of Civivi his favorite movie is Ninja Turtles, the original one from 1990. And so he was kind of inspired by, of course, Shredder, the villain in that movie, to name this knife uh, the Shredder. And that is not true. I just made that up just now. So again, I have fooled you. Um, probably not. It's just called the Shredder. That's just the name of the knife. There's no story behind why it was named that, uh, at least not that I know of. But it's a pretty, pretty cool knife. Um, and it's on the large side, I would say, uh, medium large, maybe, but uh, we'll do some size comparisons. So what's uh, kind of the short version with this guy? Well, it costs about 60 bucks. It's got G10 handles and D2 blade steel. Your overall length is about eight and a half inches. It weighs less than four ounces. Your blade length is gonna be not quite three and a half inches, about three and a quarter, as far as your actual cutting edge. It uses a flipper as your deployment. It also has this large uh, hole in the blade here, which we'll talk about in a moment, which you can also use to deploy the knife. This one does run on stainless steel ball bearing washers, as opposed to the previously, depending on which order I post them in, either previously or the next knife that you'll see, the governor runs on uh, bronze washers. This runs on stainless steel ball bearings. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's a liner lock, tip up, carry, right or left handed. And it comes in a couple of different variations in terms of the color. So this one is just the, the black version. It's just all black G10. But they do have two other options and they're both, they're both really cool. And if they were available on Amazon when I bought this, I totally would have gotten one of those instead. But they have a layer G10, one is blue and one is red. So they all have a black surface but the layered versions have these kind of multiple layers of either red or blue and it looks really nice just a little bit of a pop of color um, so you got a few different options as far as aesthetic depending on your preference so that's nice action's nice as smooth as you can imagine being on uh, ball bearing washers so that's the short version on the Civivi shredder so let's do a size comparison with a couple different knives let's start with the ontario rat model one and we're gonna find these to be almost identical in overall length. I mean, almost exactly identical. The handle length and grip area is also extraordinarily close. Even the, uh, the blade length, it's not quite, you know, the, the shredder is gonna have a bit of an advantage, but, but not a ton. So very, very similar in size to the Rat 1. So if this is a good size knife for you, if you like the Rat 1, the, uh, the shredder is going to be very similar to that. Let's compare it to a couple of Civivis. Here is the shredder, which is just a bit longer by, I don't know, quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch, something like that. And here is the backlash, which is going to be shorter by about that same margin. So it's kind of almost an equal step up going from the backlash to the shredder to the governor. So there's your size comparisons. Let's get these guys out of the way and closed up for safety. And let's just take a quick walk around of this knife, give you a little overview and talk a little bit more about it. So blade steel, as I mentioned, is D2. It's got a hollow grind, which I've talked about in the past. Civivi knows how to grind a blade. It's just a beautiful thing. I, I love it. They, they just, I don't know how they do it at this price point. Nobody else is putting out blades with the geometry and kind of the expert level hollow grinds that get nice and thin and slicey the way Civivi does. Uh, not that I'm aware of. So 
I just can't get enough of that. This one does have a forward finger choil, which is very much usable, which we'll touch on here in a second. But I do want to talk about the texture on the G10 because it's different from what you may see on some other Civivis. So if we look at the Backlash and the Governor, it's a pretty fine texture. Let's, let's just do the Governor. Let's get in close on this guy. So it's a pretty fine texture, okay? It's, uh, it's not aggressive. It's, it's not smooth by any means, but um, it's not uh, high traction, I wouldn't say. But, it, but it's really nice. I, I like it. If we compare that to the Shredder, this is what they call a coarse G10. So you can see the texture is much more coarse. It is definitely grippier. It is just grippier than their finer uh, G10. If you like to spidey flick your knives, this is like a dream come true because this thing spidey flicks better than any knife that I've ever spidey flicked. You can do it just really slow and kind of effortlessly or you can really kind of put some oomph behind it and let it fly open. But if, you've, if you're somebody who's kind of been practicing that and hasn't quite gotten it down, you will be able to do it with this knife and it is so satisfying and it takes no effort to do it just i mean as soon as you break that detent it just comes all the way open and then again of course you can always put as much oomph behind it as you would like but it's a it's a pleasure to open either with the spidey flick or just with the the flipper tab itself so yeah a good design i really love the blade shape it's very reminiscent of the backlash with the addition of the hole, of course. And again, it's longer in length, but it, they both have that uh, finger choil up front, which is actually usable if you grip it. And as I mentioned in the past, if you pull your finger back at an angle towards the pivot, um, I, I don't creep up on it. And with this jimping on the spine here, I get a nice purchase and I don't have any concerns and I'm gonna slide forward onto that blade. Ergonomically speaking, for me, this one's quite comfortable because you've got this little let me turn it this way. You've got this little peak right here. And for me, that peak kind of fits between those fingers, right? Between my ring finger and my middle finger. Um, and it's just extraordinarily comfortable. Um, very, you know, the cliche saying is kind of melts in your hand. Uh, for me, this one kind of does. The pocket clip pretty much disappears like in a hammer grip if I bear down as hard as I can. Um, I'm not really picking up anything. Um, it might as well not have a pocket clip, frankly. So for me, this one is extraordinarily comfortable and ergonomic, a little bit more so than the Governor. The Governor is a comfortable knife, but for me, this one ergonomically definitely kind of wins the battle uh, between the two. It is also a liner lock, just like the Governor. Locks up uh, nice and strong, just like the Governor and every Civivi that I've ever owned. No up and down blade play, no lock rock, you can flex the blade because again, it's nicely, uh, it's ground nice and thin, but there's not any true side to side blade play. There is no lock stick when you disengage the liner lock, which is a breeze to do. And we'll check the centering. And as with every Civivi that I have ever owned, it is perfectly centered. The finish, you know, as far as the fitment of this G10 backspacer to the liners and the liners to the scales, is just seamless and just perfectly done. You do have a lanyard pin there, so you can run a lanyard through there if you're a lanyard person. It has the same pocket clip that we saw on the Civivi Governor, the same pocket clip as the Civivi Backlash, so a very familiar design from Civivi that is perfectly functional, and I like them uh, quite a bit. So it carries really nicely, and you can swap that to the other side for left-handed carry. So all in all, I'm just kind of crushing on this knife. I think it's an excellent design. I love the blade shape. It's a good size. Even for someone like me who doesn't love like really, really big knives, to me this is a big knife that is just very, I don't know, it's, it's nimble. It's lightweight. It's less than four ounces, like 3.9. So although it's got some length to it, um, it's, uh, it's just so usable and nimble and capable performs so nicely. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I, I really like what Civivi is doing and the uh, uh, shredder here 
is definitely no exception to that. And again, if you want a little pop of color with that red or that blue layer G10, I think those will be super popular. Um, but yeah, it's a good it's a good knife. It performs well. I've talked about the hollow grinds and how thin they are, and kind of how that translates to performance. Um, I'm not going to really go into it and get totally geeked out on geometry, but if you want a knife that that is actually uh, ground, like the actual process of grinding the blade that, that's ground and sharpened intentionally to perform a certain way and to be very effective at pushing itself through material and cutting efficiently, um, get a Civivi with a hollow grind. Whether it's the uh, Shredder or the Governor or a Backlash or even the uh, the Little Brother, which I don't have uh, out here, but uh, the Elementum, uh, they're just doing they're doing great things. So I am a big fan of the Shredder. It'll definitely be staying in the collection. Um, the Backlash, I would say, is my favorite Civivi of all time. I have a bunch of, of, of variations of this knife because I think it's just amazing. Uh, these are both also amazing, but they're not models that I'm going to go and like start collecting. But I am glad that I have one example of each. Um, so that is it. That is the Civivi Shredder, your kind of quick uh, overview. Um, it's a good knife. So I think... Uh, if this design, aesthetic, size speaks to you, then uh, I think it's definitely worth checking out because the performance and the comfort and the action and the finishing and the quality control, none of that's going to disappoint you, I don't think. Um, so if you like the design and that speaks to you, then you might want to just go ahead and pick one of these up. So that is it. That is the Shredder from Civivi. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon.